Mark Morris, you're giving us your second solo album, A Flash of Darkness. Uh-huh. When is it due out? Uh, February the 24th on Acid Jazz Records. Get it in there. Now tell us that the the process for yourself, you know, writing songs with the blue tones as opposed to writing songs by yourself and recording them by yourself. What do you prefer? I like, I really enjoyed the collaboration of being in a band. Uh, and I enjoyed, I enjoy collaborating with other people um, and friends and stuff. It's quite difficult to find that trust uh, for you to be able to do it. But even doing a record on my own, it's, it's always going to be a collaboration because I'm not playing every instrument and recording it completely myself. So there's always going to be outside input to a degree. Um, and so, I mean, to a point, there's not that much difference because I still write songs in the same way and I get them to a kind of level as a demo with a beginning, a middle and an end, very simplified versions, record that and then I would used to, I used to present that to the, the band then and say, go away and think about you know, arranging it, but there's the melody and there's a chord structure. And um, I just, it's kind of how I do it now, but instead of having three other people to bounce off of, I just kind of shelve it, forget about it for a few months and then come back to it and see how different it sounds to me then. I mean, if you want an analogy, yeah, we like an analogy. It's this. I like, it's like doing a crossword. Do you do crosswords? Sometimes. Well, I I do. I'm an avid crossword doer. I do the cryptics in the Telegraph and the Guardian, and um, it's the same sort of thing. It's like if you look at a, you, you get you get sort of a third of the way through a crossword and you're stuck. You're hitting your head against a brick wall. So you just fold it up, stick it back in your bag, and come back to it like three or four hours later, and it's you look at it completely differently. You're seeing it with fresh eyes, and you can usually whiz through it. And it's the same sim sort of process when you're finishing a song well I'm finishing a song I have to kind of forget about it and come back to it with fresh ears and go ooh I'm not so sure about what I thought was a good idea before I should, I'll try this I'm sure you, you just forgot to mention you also do the Daily Record crossword there Mark of course yeah it's, it's one of the t- toughest ones out there of course it is I yeah. save them up for yes. a Sunday evening Saturday evening um, <laughs> <laughs> 500 pound prize get it done this weekend um the on on the road experience then is that quite different for you from from being with the blue tones? It is could be more different. Yes, uh, I led a very cosseted lifestyle before having people opening doors and making sandwiches for me. Uh, but I do this completely as a one man operation, and I I like I've embraced the kind of minstrel side of it. The wandering musical man comes into a town, eats your food, sings you some songs, and then goes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're playing in smaller venues too, and you're, you're here tonight in, in Greenock uh, in Gourock, uh, but you're also on tour around several places in Scotland later on in the year. Yeah, I mean doing these acoustic shows allows me to play more, and I do just love playing. Uh, but at the end of February I'm going out with a full band, uh, at just around the time of the release of the album. and um, So I can colour the record pro- properly and give it to an audience a lot louder with some bass and some drums. and. I, I'll be taking some old friends out with me on the road, some some old pals. Okay, right. We think we know what you're saying. It's not right? too cryptic, this one, yeah, but it's not... It's uh, Well, you know, uh, we were talking about this earlier, and it's it's, it's not going to be a reunion of the... Uh, it's going to be the Blue Tones, okay? The Blue Tones band are coming out with me, but it's not the Blue Tones. It's not a reunion. It's just that those guys are going to be my backing band, and it's... Good for them, because they can get out and uh, uh, dust off the instruments again. It's good for me, because they're the musicians I trust most in the world. And it'll be good for you, because we're as <laughs> tight as anything. <laughs> um, you're also recording the music for David Williams' audiobooks. Tell us a bit about that. That's right, yeah. Uh, the first one came about five years ago, I think, uh, The Boy in the Dress. And... Um, when he signed his publishing deal with Harper Collins and they were going to make it an audio book as well, they needed someone to provide theme music for said CD and chapter music, the little kind of uh, motify bits you get, turn the page and all that nonsense. Uh, so yeah, he asked, me, he approached me and asked me to do it, and I really loved it. It's like you got to make an 80 second, 90 second piece of music, like a TV theme tune. Uh, I mean, that's certainly how I approach it, thinking like a TV theme tune. And um, and he's asked me to do all six of his books now. Um, Demon Dentist came out, I think, in October. And, yeah, I'm his go-to guy for the, for the children's music. And it's such a good gig to do because 
I mean, I find, I've always found composing melodies fairly comes fairly naturally to me, and um, it's just the lyric writing is a bit more of a struggle. So this, no lyrics will cry. It will required. I can just kind of. It's like being in a sandpit, you know. It's you're not, fun, you're, fun, fun. You're not tempted to break into song, then. No, 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 no. There's there, there, there are a couple of vocal bits on it, on on some of them, but you wouldn't know it's me. And then they're really for sound effects more than uh, any kind of lyric. It's just, it's really, it's just such good fun. It's a release. And as a dad of a couple of young kids, that must give you a certain degree of kudos. It certainly does. Now we've started reading David Williams's book. My son's now old enough to sort of appreciate books with less pictures in them. And uh, so, yeah, it is a kick. So he's starting to put two and two together. Ah, oh, that's you, is it? Thanks, Mark. My pleasure. Nice talking to you. All the best.